Okay, well, here it is, the Punisher guitar in finished condition. Um, I'll just kind of walk you through what we have here. Yeah, that's it. It's alive. It's alive. Okay, so starting at the top, we got Lucky 7. Just for fun. We have an actual... Uh, but we have an oversized tuning. Uh, we got a bolt, we got a dowel rod, a little bit of uh, fire burning here on the back side of the neck. A little light colored neck. A little bit of router work to make the neck nice and smooth and fast with some clear coat all over the whole setup. So we, with that shape you can really run down there with your slide and notice we have the punisher and the thin blue line running the entire length all the way up this particular guitar this guitar is for a long time law enforcement officer in the state of texas and he had this punisher uh cut out laying around the house and said hey can you make me a guitar? And I said, yeah, let's do it. Here's a tag numbered. All my guitars are sequentially numbered and signed and have the underdog brand on there. He's a member of the Blue Knights uh, MC. And so we put that on there. The back's removable so you can get to all the components. Four screws will get you in there. Uh, we have the plug-in for the guitar right there on the cheekbone and the nose is inset you can actually uh, go down in there and the eyes are actually the back side of license plates cut to fit in there so we have one of the two eyes are actually the control knobs for the uh, volume and tone so those are actually the control knobs is the, the the eyes thought that would be a neat feature had to cut a hole in the skull to put the um pickup and the pickup is mounted uh parallel with the string there's only one string on my guitars why would i turn it sideways when i can get the most pickup if i turn it in line with my string so that's that down here at the bottom we have a bracket and I put some bailing wire and a screw and this holds tension in the opposite direction the string is pulling. A little bit of, little bit of router work down there, coffin style. Uh, and we work our way up. Uh, see, it's a, it's a neat looking guitar to me. Uh, it's got a wow factor and a cool factor. Uh, but one thing about my guitars is they're, they're not perfect. Uh, this is not a store-bought situation. This is a made-it-here-in-the-shop kind of deal. And so that's what you get. Next video, I'll show you. We'll make it come alive, and I'll show you what it sounds like. Thanks for tuning in.